there you have it, our uh, starting five for both squads. Red Bull Barajo still unbeaten so far in this uh, conference. Ang, uh, talk and text phone pals coming off a loss. And talk about explosive matchups here, uh, Coach Norman. Yeah, guys like Alapaga against Miller. You've got uh, Taulava there on Penisi. This should be an exciting ball game. It'll be interesting to see who takes Hobby Carey. He had 21 rebounds in their last game in that loss, so he's been very productive. He actually had a 20-20 game. Well, that dump ball earlier brought to you by Star Margarine. First track of the basket goes to Talk and Tex, and right away, they give the ball down low to Asi Taulava. Well, must Malaki see Asi Taulava over Homer Say. Homer Say is giving away about four inches and about maybe about 20 pounds. Again, uh, that'll be the matchup here. There's a the quick double team. Nico Tambola, Lapag, swing it outside once again to Fran. And uh, no conversion on the first possession there. Miller. Inside look to Valenzuela, turnaround shot. And both teams just uh, one crack at the basket. Taulava against Homer Sick. Hop, skip, and jump. And, you know, a lot of play uh, people have been commenting on that last ball game of Taulava where he did not really get too many touches and uh, scored only 11 points. Now let's see if this can be a game where he can bounce back. Well, Red Bull getting a lot of uh, offensive rebounds on that play. Looks uh, like a tough day here so far in the early goings. No team still uh, scoring. But over a minute gone by. Interception, Red Bull. Here comes Valenzuela. Ball will be kicked away. And now Miller will give it off to Benizzi. Good hustle there by Homer Say to keep it alive. Still no go, no points on the board for both squads. Alapak in traffic. Oh, he throws one up against three black shirts. Oh, one long, long foul. Miller, step back jumper, and finally, nothing. Unang puntos, this is a row, 2 0. Among Red Bull. Well, neither team showing too much patience. <laughs> He said they like to score a lot of points so far. They're putting up the shots very quickly. Well, both teams know just how important this ball game is. It's uh, the season on the line. Pablo won't get the bounce. Here comes Fran inside. And a foul will be called here. It'll go against Homer Sick. Let's turn you down now, uh, courtside with Janelle for our star margarine courtside update. Paolo and co Coach Norman Asito Leva refused to give an interview before this game, but Coach Ariel Vanguard of Talk and Text Phone Pals clarified that the Rock is not daunted by uh, reports about this Phil Sham thing. Also, he admitted that it was his fault why Asito Lava scored a disappointing 11 points last game against FedEx. He said that he didn't give Asi too many touches in their place. But for this game, they are prepared. They say that they have studied the defense of Red Bull and they are expecting Red Bull to play the same defense. So we will see kung kaya nila ito. They also, uh, Coach Ariel also said that lagi naman daw nila, they catch the last trip to the semis and the finals. It seems that they work best when their backs are against the wall. We'll try to find out kung totoo nga yan. This has been my Star Margarine Courtside update. Back to the panel. Thank you, Janelle. That update brought to you by Star Margarine. And uh, it's interesting, interesting. You know. Yes, if you look at the defense the Red Bull has played so far, they're going to double team to Lava with Tennessee leaving Javi Carey open. So Javi Carey might have a big game again tonight. Tip in by Miller inside. And uh, another point that Janelle mentioned earlier was about Tokentex playing very well when their backs are against the wall. And we saw that so many times, especially in that first conference in the uh, finals. And even in that series against Alaska to enter the finals, Tokentex really just uh, would step up during important ball games. Well, un un problema dito is that they have to win by more than eight points. So that's a double whammy. <laughs> uh -huh. You not only have to win, but you have to win by a certain number. Yes, they have to win convincingly in this one. So their backs are really up against the wall. Run. 
will not connect inside. That's my foul there, Dito sa ilalim. It'll go against Asi Taulava. He'll pick up foul number one. I'll see Coach Yang Gao. But for it on uh, adjustment side defense, he brought in Enrico, Dylan Weber into the game in replace of uh, Homer Say. Probably mm. feeling that you know Enrico is a much better, bigger player. Oh, mas malapad ito do si uh, Dylan Weber a lot wider than Homer Say. Enrico inside challenging the defense of uh, the phone pals, and uh, Enrico Dylan is coming off a career high 20 point game in his last outing. He has really blossomed here in his first year in the league. It's at a turnaround. And I know for a fact that the um, the Red Bull staff was just ecstatic when they found that he was still available in the draft. <laughs> it was unbelievable that he actually was still available. And how deep this uh, last draft went. Rico Villanueva. Of course, uh, has won uh, MVPs in the past since uh, the UAP. Right now, he's bringing his ball game here to the PBA. No problem on his second free throw. Red Bull on top now, 5-2, to two, with 8.40 to go here in the first. Alapak setting things up for the yellow shirt. Takes his uh, run from outside. And, uh, he was the only player to touch the ball in that last uh, offensive. Well, Red Bull choosing to go under the screen as Willie Miller straight to the basket. The Miller will not connect. Ito, Papa Bakaga just walking next. They're looking for Taulava inside. There's the quick double team by Benicio. Whenever you play like this, you have to have good rotation. You must cover the cutter and then have good rotation. Taulava barging, and this will be a crucial call. Foul number two on the Rock with 7.59 to play here in the first period. And down the stretch, this might tell. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Telegraph for the Talking Text team. Asi is definitely the main man. We were talking about it before the game. He has import-type numbers. Well, Talking Text playing a zone defense right now. It's Red Bull. But they're doing that to protect Asi Talaba. They don't want to match up man to man. Here comes Alapag. It's a foot race. They go back to Jimmy. And he uses the glass for two. And both of these teams average in double figures and fast break points. And they like to take advantage of turnovers and turn them into fast break points. So we expect a run and gun ball game here. Miller was left open. Good help defense down low by front. Here come the talking text phone pass once again. No problem on the layup for Jimmy A. Well, that's the problem you have when you have two guards who normally like to go to the basket. We're talking about June T and Willie Miller. Nobody going back on defense. And Easy will push one from the corner to give Red Bull the lead once again, 7-6. They're going to leave Taulava in the ball game after picking up foul number two. Inside, oh, Asi Taulava just muscling his way inside in the baseline. And we can expect that Asi Taulava will not have another 11-point night in this game. He's going to be more aggressive. Yes, you were saying something about uh, Taulava bouncing back in this ball game. And, uh, well, like I mentioned earlier, the last game happened the day after the Senate findings became public. And of course, I mean, he's only human, so that's going to affect him. Uh, he did get 17 rebounds and 8 assists in that game, so he was not totally bad. I mean, those are pretty good numbers, but they're, they're not Asi Talaba numbers. Uh -huh. Alapad, again, look at the sprint right here. Pablo will finish. And Falk and Texas just uh, been making most of their points here by a fast break. And Coach Yang Gao is looking in puzzlement there on the sidelines, wondering what's happening to his transition defense. Once again, Taulava will pluck it down, and Benisi will be called for the push. Foul number one on Mick Benisi. Field goal shooting, the first quarter. Well, neither team shooting very well. 
3 out of 16 for Red Bull, 4 out of 12 for Talker Tech. Olava, double team underneath. Harvey Carey will pick it up. Alapaz, on top of the key, no problem for Alapaz, he drains it. 14 to 7 is the score with 5. Talking text on top here by 7, 14 to 7 as we give you uh, first quarter action. Well, talking text on a 12-2 run. Villanueva denied underneath and remember the magic number uh, over here for Red Bull is 8 points. Uh, let's, let's check out this play first. Uh, it's Willie Miller connecting from outside. Well, smart move by Coach Yang Gao on the last play. He called it out of a timeout. He called a high low for Enrico down low, but he made Penasi the pass. So that brings Asi Salaba away from the basket and really matches up Enrico against the much smaller Javi Carey. So that's what happens uh, right now. Stellan will check in the game for Harvey Carey. And Nueva has been... The more offensive minded in his past few games well he's growing up here in the pba we know he can score he did it his entire college career at the nail uh -huh. will set things up double high screen by Alapag. oh jimmy alapag well, red bull keeps going under those pick and rolls they're going to pay the price later if jimmy gets hot this time it's Villanueva there going, attacking the defense of Taulava and Villanueva will pick up an offensive foul. Of course, Taulava nursing those two personal fouls. And Coach Yeng Giao really wanting to get the rock out of this ball game early. Well, Enrico not happy with the call. He thought that Asi Taulava flopped on the play. You win some, you lose some. Well, I think he's a pretty big guy to be knocking down that easily. <laughs> yeah. Here they go again. This is the play that uh, we were talking about earlier, uh, Coach Norman, when you said that uh, the play of talking Dex will really revolve around this post-up play for Asi Taulava. The double team coming from Tennessee. You see the cutter come through. They have to rotate out to the shooters. And boom. And they have to pay the price if they will not rotate on guys like Patrick Fran, Jimmy Alapag. Right now, talking text ahead by eight points. And that is the magic number there, at least for Red Bull. Interception with 4.27 to go. Timex, the official timer of the 2003 PBA Games, invites you to check out the nearest Timex outlet for the Timex mid-year sale. Up to 70% discount is up for grabs on selected Timex watches. Well, a change in the defense that time. The double team came from Edmund Reyes instead of... McPennessy. Valenzuela from the corner. Well, very little patience by Red Bull so far in this game. A lot of times it's just uh, it's on Pasa and then they tear it up. It looks like they opened up a, bit, a little bit tight here in this uh, first quarter. Well, a lot of times when you have to win by a certain number or lose by a certain number, you know, it puts a lot of pressure on you. Delan forcing his way inside. That's very, that's very true, coach. And sometimes teams aboard. This Lagas rebound is brought to you by Lagas Outlast Battery. Ito ang palaban. Oh, tough move there by Mick Penasi. And Asi Talaba, he might as well put his hands in his pockets because <laughs> <laughs> he cannot play defense with two fouls here in the first quarter. And there's nothing Talaba can do. Quick inside pass given. And the recognition there as Stellan scores. And that's what happens when you start concerning yourself with the shooters. You forget about the cutter. At that time, Mark Stellan was wide open. High-low play once again. And Alapag will hold on to this one and slow things down. Alapag. We will see where the double team will be coming from. This time... Offensive foul by Mark Talan, follow. He pushed off on June T. It might not even be a bad idea for Red Bull to not double team. So much. Back to live action with us here at the uh, Caneta Astrodome. 18 to 10, ang ating uh, score dito, lamang ang talk and text. And uh, some new players on the floor. 
as we uh, will get back to you on that. But first, we'll turn you downstairs, uh, Kay Janelle. So, who has an update for us? Yes, earlier as we were getting ready to interview Ari Enrico Villanueva for a halftime feature, Asi Saulava passed by and started getting playfully rough with the rookie. At the sinabi naman ni Enrico, not here, man. Take that inside the court. Pero pagka lagpas ni Asi, sabi ni Rico sa akin, naku, paano ko kaya yan bamaten? Ang laki-laki. And sinabi na nga niya, he's also big, but he's nowhere as big as Asi Saulava. Back to you guys. Okay, thank you, uh, Janelle. <laughs> well, not too many people are as big as Asi in the PBA. <laughs> oh, yes. And you notice the last play that Red Bull did not double team Asi Talaba and Asi settled for an outside shot. Villanueva caught inside and the defense of Talking Tex has been holding up in the paint. Ravenna. Brand, look at the ball movement of Talking Tex with Mark Delan. Oh, everything but the shot there. Well, that ball is going to go off of Nelson outside Tono who did not play in their last game. He sprained his ankle. Well, Saitono now in the ball game here for Red Bull Barajo. Alapag. Sings it out to Rovena. They go downstairs with Taulava. Again, Alapag left open, but 10 seconds to shoot, and Taulava just falling on the hard court. Fran now already with six points in the game. And already, it, uh, Talking Texas built a double-digit lead here, 20 to 10. And of course, we have to call this. They're up by 10 points, but actually they're up by two. Uh -huh. <laughs> when you think about it. Uh, <laughs> well, for our tele viewers that have just joined us, maybe you've uh, just opened your TV sets coming home from work, or you've just eaten dinner. Ang scenario po natin dito is uh, Talking Dex has to win by more than eight points if they want to advance to the semifinals and for Red Bull uh, Barajo they have to hold on and not lose by more than eight points Valenzuela pretty move but he just can't find daylight inside well, this reminds me of the game that the uh, Red Bull team played against FedEx in the first half they were having a very very difficult time but when the second half rolled around they woke up picked up the defensive intensity and went on to win the game. Let's see how things turn here. Well, right now, the Talking Text team looks very focused on what they have to do. Well, no focus on that last shot by Telan. And Miller, the ball was stripped. He's able to connect. Even Willie Miller is challenging the defense of Asita Olava. They're really taking it in the heart of that, uh, into the heart of that zone defense. Locking foul will be called here. Uh, Willie Miller. Pick up his uh, first personal foul here with 45 seconds to play in the first quarter. Oh, Jim Well Torian has just checked into the game. Of course, Lodi Tagad is also on the court for Red Bull. So Tora Tora will be matched up here against uh, Belano. Now at the point guard spot, Taulava, turn around, will not get uh, the point. Here comes Asaitono, one on five for the bull. Now it's Tugari inside. Lordi, swinging inside and the foul called here. Tignanatin, looks like it'll go against Patrick Fran. It should mean last shot time for the Red Bull team. There's 21 seconds left on the game clock. It's only 14 seconds left on their shot clock, so they can run it down, but they cannot run it out. So, that's, uh, the game difference, so I think shot clock and game clock is about uh, seven seconds. Torreon, fresh in the ball game. And already he'll pick up a foul. This one will go against Milano. Oh, talk, excuse me, Talking Tech's playing the percentages here. But they're now in penalty, so they're going to have to play straight up defense. All right, actually both teams already in the penalty. But they will hold on to this one. And milk the clock here for the last shot of, of the quarter. Inside, Tugade able to escape for the reverse. 
And Delano will not be able to beat the clock here. It was uh, Coletta Acedon, Paulo Trillo, together with uh, Coach Norman Black and Janelle So, bringing you this, uh, you could call it a knockout match here between these two teams. As Torreon will not get continuation. Could have been giving continuation on that play, but the referee deemed it not to be a follow through. By the way, our uh, officials here tonight, uh, referees Boy Cruz, Wilbert Kulanag, and Art Herrera, are uh, three officials calling the shots in this ball game. He's on, had an open look instead. They will rotate the ball, and only eight seconds left on the shot clock here for Red Bull Barajo. And talking Texas, defense so far has really been very intensified. I mean, they're playing really good defense. They look really focused here. You, you, you try take a look at their uh, their faces, and you can somewhat see it in their eyes. The intensity is there, and talk and text once again fighting to stay alive here in the, the conference. Nasi Talaba, he's only going to get going to get a short rest on the bench as he's checking back into the basketball game. Well, Talaba picked up two fouls in the first. But if we look at the Kabila, the big men, uh, both Se and Villanueva also have two fouls apiece. Ugade. Nailed uh, his first free throw. So when you talk of talking Techs and uh, the Red Bull team, you talk about two of the most talented teams in the league. A lot of talented up and down the rosters of both of these teams. They've got beefy lineups. And a lot they're of... Beefy, they're athletic, <laughs> they're <laughs> quick. <laughs> a lot of uh, very exciting players. Two of the top rebounding teams in the league, but it also means they're tough. Oh, a lot of forces that shot up. Alan Billion turned to be wide open on the offensive board. That leads to another basket. So Benna, good spacing in his part, was able to hit it. Timex, the official timer of the 2003 PBA Games, invites you to check out the nearest Timex outlet for the Timex mid-year sale. Up to 70% discount up for grabs on selected Timex watches. And Talking Tex remains in his own defense, trying to protect Asi Talaba, who steals the basketball. And the pushing foul here will be called on... Uh, will this go on Torreon? Yes, Jimwell Torreon will pick up uh, his first. So whenever you penetrate against the zone, you have a much better chance of scoring from the outside than you do the inside. Normally the pass out to the perimeter will be wide open. So Yarn chose to go inside that time. That's why it was stolen. Check out our field goal shooting in the first quarter. Both teams are in the shooting from outside. 27% and 33%. That's why we have such a low scoring game so far. In a game like this, uh, Coach Norman, w which team would favor a low-scoring uh, ball game, do you think? Well, definitely Red Bull. I mean, they average the least amount of points out of the two teams. Talking Texas is averaging 104 points a game. But like I said, I think either one of these teams can play whatever type of game they want to play. You want to play slow ball, we'll play slow ball. You want to play quick tempo, we'll play quick tempo. To be a champion team, you have to learn how to win any type of way. But right now, it's uh, the phone files on top by nine. And uh, again, uh, one thing to watch out for is really going to be that magic number eight. Right now, the stands at nine. Uh, talking text on pace. But an offensive foul will be called here on Vic Pablo. Back to back turnovers for both teams. It's been a pretty sloppy game so far. This is, this is also how we started the first quarter. Correct, and the execution as far as um, Red Bull is concerned has not been good. Stay inside. Tizon will try his luck from Rainbow Territory. And Ben Tizon will hit a three-point bomb. That's always the solution to the problem when the team is playing his own defense. Well, we're seeing a lot of outside shots being thrown up here tonight. Ball will stay with the phone files here. And you'll be surprised how a play like that, even though the ball goes back to talking text, can spark your team. I mean, Lodi Tagadi just went all out to try to save that basketball. 
We don't see enough of that in basketball these days. Well, we'll go downstairs uh, to Janelle with a Monterey courtside update. Falcon Tech's manager, Frankie Lim, is not around tonight. Last Thursday, his wife gave birth to a bouncing baby boy whom they will, they will name Gabriel Tyler. But guess who might be in the house tonight? Yep, Coach Joel Banal, who hasn't seen a single Falcon Tech game through this Invitational Championship. Dahil, he's busy concentrating with the Ateneo, or concentrating on the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Pero magpaparamdam daw tonight si Coach Joel Banal. Paramdam lang kasi ayaw daw niyang magpakita. We will find out kung gagamit or gagana dito ang uh, phenomenal Coach Joel Banal charm or Coach Joel Banal magic. Meanwhile, siguro dapat tayo magpakontest. But Coach Joel Banal in the stands Kasi hindi rin siya magpapakita That has been my Monterey Courtside update It's been Janelle, so back to the panel Okay, uh, thanks a lot Janelle That uh, update brought to you by Monterey And uh, well, Coach Joel Banal uh, His presence here can give an added boost uh, For the morale of Talking Tech Another turnover for Red Bull and we've seen a uh, sloppy player to start the second quarter, and it continues on that last play. That's actually their third turnover here in the second quarter. So the six-point lead for Talking Tech. The way Homer Say is playing defense against Asi, he's going to pick up that third foul pretty quickly. A lot of banging inside, a let-go situation, and the rock will not be denied. So Asi now with five points to his name. 27 to 19. Bugade. In a hand up, Dito si Asaiton. The ball has been quiet. But he gives off an assist here to Omer Seth. That's what you're going to have to do against the zone defense. You have to move the basketball. You're going to penetrate. You've got to penetrate and hit the open man. Pablo working it inside. We find the rock. Taulava against two black shirts. And Asi now starting to get uh, the fouls down low. That foul's going to go against Asai Tono. The All-Filipino towards the uh, first half of the All-Filipino. Talking Test was shooting terribly from the three-point line. I mean, it was they were horrible. They were last in the league. And now they're number one. What a turnaround. What a turnaround. Yeah. What a turnaround. <laughs> I remember in that series against Coca-Cola, the All-Filipino, we were saying that would probably be the, one of the biggest factors there, the free throw shooting. And, uh... Well, their three-point shooting has really turned around, mainly because of Jimmy Alapag, who leads the league. He shoots 50% from the three-point line. And now they're just shooting away. Right now, a seven-point lead for Talking Tech. Azaitono, catch and shoot. And the two points for the bull. 28 to 23. Alapag. Now matched up against Torreon at the point guard spot. He got bola dito and they continue to work it inside, but carry with a 15 footer. Setup time now. Villanueva. Here comes Corion and you know the Red Bull squad just having a hard time inside. Well, if you're quick enough to get past your man, Paulo, you have Asi Talaba standing there in the middle waiting for you. And you got the wide body of Harvey Carey. The internal defense of uh, Talking Sex holding their own here. 6.40 to play in the second period. This is, uh, of course, our Samsung PBA Invitational Championship. Enrico was kicked in the head. Ouch. Torreon running ring oh. around Talk and Tech defenders on the break. They're going speed lineup on the uh, Red Bull right now. So from Belize, the uh, Torreon going all the way to the basket. You're correct with uh, Torreon and also Willie Miller in the game at the guard position. Let's see if Red Bull can speed things up over here. Alapag two-man game uses the Taulava pick outside to Bong Ravenna. And this one will just go out of bounds. 
So with 5.56 to play, a full timeout called here by Red Bull Barajo. Lamang ang That's what we learned by all big men who want to play inside. You saw that Asi protected the ball by keeping it close to his chest when he went up to the basket. He did not put it out for the guards to come in and slap it away from him. Well, Taulava has certainly been a force inside for talking Tex. Throwing his wares here tonight, been easy. Still strong on drive. And now, they will look at the rock once again. There's the quick double. Run back to Alapag. And now Taulava inching closer. Manalo is set up for three. And with the type of defense that the Red Bull team is playing, that's what they're looking for. Miss outside shots. They're going to force Talk Attack to beat them from the perimeter. It looks like uh, that is how our ball game is going to go. They will be challenging the Talk Attack players to make the outside shot. Alapag inside the front. And the foul will be called here on Nick Benici. The front actually challenged. The defense has been easy. Been easy standing a good maybe six, seven inches taller. Well, Penasi came down with his arms. That's why he was called for the foul. If he had just stood there and waited for the ball to go up, he probably could have easily blocked that shot. Check it out once again. Touch passing by the phone pals. Right and there. Yes, there you go. The front now will uh, shoot two from the line. No problem on his first free throw. Fran, now with seven points. It has been a balanced uh, offensive night here for Talking Tex. Fran actually is the leading scorer after two quarters of play, but we still have 507 remaining here in the second. Miller calling out lane number three. Orion has it in the corner. Red Bull trying to find a hole in that zone defense, and Miller comes away with a fader. And that's the one thing you have to give Willie Miller. I mean, he's one of the players on the Red Bull team that you have to give him the freedom to find his own shot. You know, Willie Miller is just such an athletic player. He can really create. But right now, it's Paulama creating here for talking Tech. He has done a pretty good job of staying away from uh, that third foul. Miller. And Lapag will take it the other way. Here's a fast break. 50 meters. That's good handle. Good defense by Torian. He's stuck all the way. And now Barajo will come back. Oh. They just can't shoot. Both teams not taking advantage on those fast break opportunities. Red Bulls, they're just having a tough time putting the ball in the hole. 31 to 27, ang ating uh, score dito. Lamang ng apat ang uh, phone pals. And Valenzuela will check in the game to replace Lordy Tugade. So with 3.49 to go, a 30-second timeout here called by Talk and Text. Point here with 349 to play and Red Bull sort of inched their way a little bit closer to that lead. So initially it was announced a 30 second timeout for the phone pals. And this is what Red Bull is looking for. They're only down by four points. We'll repeat it again. Red Bull just has to make sure they don't lose by more than eight. And Talking Tex has to win by at least nine to go into the semis. Well, what will happen here is if Talking Tex should win this game over Red Bull, there will be a three-way tie at first at the uh, Dallas Hatting Potion system. It will be decided by who two teams will advance. And Ravenna now finding the range from outside. Well, Juicy did not challenge that shot by Ravenna, but Coach Yangal changed his defense during the 30-second timeout of Talking Tex, but didn't help. Miller breaking oh. down the defense. Serious? Good by Willie Miller. Hey, Alapag will pick it up the other way. Jimmy Alapag, handoff. Now Patrick Brun, Juan Ravenna. He actually had an open look. 
Then he passed it to somebody in the stands. Well, a hesitation play that time by Bong Ravenna. And he just hit one earlier with someone in his face. They lob it inside. Villanueva will be uh, disturbed by those big men of Red Bull as Alapag will fire away. Here come Baraco once again. Torreon. Oh, there seems to be a lid on that uh, ring of Red Bull Baraco right now. But the type of shots that Red Bull's getting, I mean, they're pretty high percentage shots. Well, they just can't seem to connect. Two thirty uh, remaining here in the second period, and Ravenna will get the defensive stop inside on Torreon. Well, three point field goals, one out of ten for Red Bull, three out of twelve for Talking Tech. Both teams pretty cold from the perimeter. We go back to Asi inside Delan. Oh, Delan just barging his way and yes an offensive foul will be called on Mark Telan. We would have to check Mark Telan's dancing skills. <laughs> He's having a tough time in Merrill time Performance to Footwear. Getaway to Adventure with Merrill USA. Definitely one thing that the coach Yang Gao is going to talk about at halftime is ball movement. Spacing and ball movement for the Red Bull team. He's been very poor here in the first half. Well they're down by seven points here as Talk and Text Continues to stick with that type of a play, you know, and that has really been the ball game here of Talking Text. Giving it to Taulava and uh, making the other players move or work from outside. Well, that's... we'll turn it over uh, to Janelle, who has something for us down low. Hindi pala tayo pwede maglaro ng spot coach Joel Banal in the stands dahil walang spot na coach, spot coach Joel Banal hindi siya makakapunta pagod daw si coach Joel sa biyahe because after the Lasal Ateneo game he flew all the way to LA para maghanap ng import para sa Tokyo Tech for next conference two days lang daw siya doon kararating lang niya so medyo magpapahinga na lang daw muna siya tonight Alright, uh, thanks a lot Janelle so that's the word no coach Joel Banal uh, here tonight Alapag will pick up his first foul. And this should be an exciting matchup to watch throughout the ballgame here. Miller and Alapag going at it. Well, may dalawang magandang matchups here. I mean, you have Don Bobolano and Torian, you have Miller and Alapag. <laughs> this is going to be a very, very fast ballgame. Miller. Well, what I thought would turn out to be an offensive show it has been more of a defensive struggle. And that, that is an indication of how important this ball game is. Both teams really clamping down on defense. Because it's one thing to say that, you know, Red Bull is missing a lot of easy shots, but that means the other team has good defense. There's another miss from very close to the basket. Alapag over now to Bilano. A lot of speedsters on the floor. Down inside. Taulava and... You know, the, the all-Filipino player of the conference from Mark Mann here tonight. Well, he's off Mark Mann any night. Every game. <laughs> Celan. He'll try his luck. And he won't get the bucket, but we have a foul down low. Well, Joe T using his arms instead of moving his feet, boxing out. It's going to be two shots for Bong Ravenna. The coach Yang Giao doesn't look too happy with that uh, call. Well, he figured his team already had the ball, so why call a foul like that? Along with Juan Ravenna, Ashley was not in the play. So Ravenna will shoot two over here. That's a penalty now, Red Bull Barajo. Well, the talking text four fouls have four team fouls in this quarter. Ravenna will not connect on his first free throw. He has hit some shots from outside here tonight. So far, Ravenna with uh, six points, two triples. He hit two triples earlier. Torreon being hounded by 
defense of Pilano. Alvin and Weber. Oh, challenging. A lot of big men inside. Well, the referee actually had his choice there. He could have called the foul on Talon Asi or Ravenna. He decided Ravenna was the man. As Enrico's really trying to get that third foul of Asi Talava. Yeah, they've been fishing for it all throughout. Uh, well, after he picked up that second foul early in the first. Right now, Villanueva. He only scored two points in the first quarter, but he got a lot of touches early on. The rookie will swish one in. May Osama uh, Pang Hagel Dito together with Miller and Valenzuela. Some instructions here with 39.8 seconds to play here before we reach the halfway point. Well, if Red Bull plays good defense, they should get the basketball back. Rico misses the second foul shot. Delano. Now the fact the pressure applied there by uh, Red Bull. But uh, Torreon was dancing by the baseline. I talked in text to keep possession here. They have 12 seconds to go on their shot clock. Baseline inbound. Ravenna. Finding Alapag. Here comes Jimmy. Now it's outside with Dondel Bellano. Look at the ball movement with Talk and Tech. And Bong Ravenna will finish it off with a triple. Gundam ball movement that time for Talk and Tech. We told you they lead the league in assists. Last uh, shot of the basket here for Red Bull Barajo. Torreon. Trying to zigzag inside. Oh, Jim Will Torreon. Double teaming, cut, taking off the cutters and rotating to the open shooters. But what I haven't seen from Red Bull in the first half, and it shows because they did not have any steals in the first half, is they're not really pressuring the ball coming up the basketball court. That's a very good point. Now, it's not the usual hard post uh, Red Bull squad that we see that uh, keeps banging around on defense. We get things uh, started here. I think third quarter. Let's run through our starting fives for the second half. Para sa talk and text phone pass. Nandiyan si uh, Alapag. Of course, The Rock, Asi Taulava, together with Patrick Fran, Victor Pablo, and Harvey Carey. Para sa Red Bull Barajo, the five consists of Miller, Hizon, Nelson Asaitono, Lord Intugadi, and Mick Finici. Asaitono with the turnaround. That was a poor shot that time by Nelson Asaitono. And if you look at this talk and text team, the last time down they passed the ball seven times before they took a shot. And they really moved the basketball. Well, that's uh, what they did, but on the other side, check out Jimmy Alapag getting one from outside. And sometimes less is better. That time he only passed it twice and hit a three-point shot. Well, if you take a look at the starting five here, oh. that's the same starting five that uh, Talk and Tech started out with, but if you take a look at the Red Bull squad, some changes here. Asaitona is starting out, uh, Izon is starting out, oh, and uh, Tugade. This is a totally different starting five from the first quarter starting five. It just goes to show Hindi Masayang coach. <laughs> He's uh -huh. not happy with his players he had out there on the floor to start the game. That's why he changed. So let's see if this uh, different unit on the floor can work uh, differently here in the third quarter. 11 seconds left on the shot clock for the All-Filipino champs. Alapag outside, Vic Pablo left open from 17 feet, he drains one. And right now, it is a dozen point lead by Talking Text. He's on, rifling away. He had a three-pointer. Oh no, he was stepping, oh yes. They credit the three-pointer. I thought he was stepping on the line. And Red Bull really needed that shot. As Talking Tex looks to start pulling away in this game. Pablo. Yeah. Oh, Victor Pablo burying a three-pointer. That was a surprise outside shot coming from Vic. And now all the pressure is going to be on Red Bull, Paulo, as they have to make sure they don't lose this game by more than eight points. you got to be worried if you're a Red Bull fan. Miller quick to answer on the other end. 
Timex, the official timer of the 2003 PBA Games, invites you to check out the nearest uh, Timex outlet for the Timex mid-year sale, up to 70% discount, up for grabs on selected Timex watches. Well, both these teams are playing zone defenses. Neither one is working right now. It's Oxy inside the paint. And that was Asi Taulava with a Barajo move against Red Bull Barajo. Red Bull Barajo ready to drink iced coffee. Balikong Bola back to the Talking Text team as it went off of Tennessee. If you're uh, a Red Bull fan, you're worried. <laughs> you're, you're really worried here. An 11 point uh, balloon by uh, Talking Text. Well, the first thing they're going to have to do is stop leaving Big Pablo open. Ugade hesitating, gets it inside. Oh, Asaitono, he'll get the basket and one. So a chance for a uh, three-point play here for the Bull. Look at Asaitono just... Bulling his way through. <laughs> hanging in there. Always good. said he's on the correct team, Red Bull. Oh, yes. Asaitono. He had to sit out uh, the last ball game. But of course, we remember him for that explosive game he had against uh, Yonsei University. If I'm not mistaken, he came up with 35 points to lead Red Bull. This is the ball pressure we were talking about that's been absent. Olava, that's the familiar play. And again, Pablo left open, but this time it's short. So they're gambling on Vic Pablo from outside. A soft pass there by Tagadi. That's why it was stolen. But Olava was able to pick it up. Fran. Here's Alapag asking for a RB pick. And he will not be able to connect from outside. Ball will stay with Talk and Text. The moment brought to you by Coca-Cola. Again, there's a ball rotation, five players holding the ball. That ball will get it the other way to Gade. Loose ball scramble. And the chase uh, won here by Red Bull. They'll keep possession. Well, we've seen some pretty ugly shots being taken in this game. I mean, Javi Carey just hit the side of the board on one end. And the last time, Tagade barely hit the rim. Both teams a little bit tight. It has really been uh, a defensive ball game, as you mentioned earlier. As both teams <laughs> really beginning to clamp down on defense. Miller. So one shot at the basket the last time around for Red Bull. Now look at Taulava just sealing Enrico Villanueva down low. By Lakas Outlast Battery, ito ang palaban. That's going to be an offensive foul there on Taulava. An extra push on Villanueva. Well, he milked those two fouls for quite a long time before he picked up his third just now. Here you see him maneuvering inside, but he just dipped that shoulder. Right on the chest of uh, Villanueva. Well, that was not a flop. <laughs> <laughs> no way. He took the blow. <laughs> well, Assi ain't called the rock for nothing. Miller to Valenzuela. Juzzi has been quiet in this ballgame. Saisono. Will be denied. Homer's yeah, spin. Nice spin. Able to go to baseline. 48 to 41, a seven point lead for Talking Text with 6.50 remaining. Who will be uh, the final team uh, to make it to the semifinals? Remember, only one spot is left, and it'll be contested here by Red Bull and Talking Text. So, uh, shot clock reset here to 14 for Talking Text. Pablo, he was left open a couple of times earlier. Here he is again, and Vic Pablo is 
making uh, Red Bull pay. And I wonder how long Coach Jane Gow is going to stay in this zone defense because the talking text player, they're starting to heat up. But every time they hit, Willie Miller answers. Well, Miller now already with 15 big points. He has stepped it up offensively here for the black shirts. Front. Throw it around. There's the ball uh, rotation. This time it's from the corner. Oh, you said it. You hit the right on the mark when you uh, mentioned a talk and text hitting those outside shots. Well, you look at the personnel out there. Patrick Frank can hit the three. You know Jimmy Alapak can hit the three. And Victor Pablo has been hitting it in this game. Tough shot thrown up by Miller. Here comes Talk and Text once again. They have a double digit advantage here. Pablo, left open. Victor yeah. Pablo is on fire. 57 to 44, a big first. Isa pong uh, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Uh, welcome to this knockout match here to decide which team will go on to the semifinals. And we're coming to you from the Cuneta Astrodome. Paolo Trillo together with coach Norman Black and Janelle Flo bringing you this one. Check out our third quarter numbers on three-point shooting. Red Bull, three out of three. Pero dito yung talk and text hitting five from outside. Like I said, neither team's zone defense has been working very well here in the second half. Asi. Gets the Red Bull double team. They go back to Alapag. Look at those crisp passes. RV Carey had to put it up as the shot clock was winding down. So the important thing for Red Bull is not to try to get it all back at one time. They have to continue to execute their offense. Outlet pass. And Alapag will wait for his uh, teammates. 13 point lead now for Talk and Text. 4 10 to play here in our third period. Asi begging for the ball. He wants it down low, and instead, Patrick Fran will launch. Now Taolava gets it against three Red Bull Baraco players and one man down. And what did you call him? The Rock? <laughs> More like the wrestler down there. <laughs> Asi Taulava, you can see it in his eyes. He just wants to advance to the semifinals. Taulava now with uh, eight points and ten rebounds. Oh, Ju Jun T is telling the referee he fouled him on the floor, but Asi did pick the ball up and follow through with it. Ooh, again. Taulava hit nothing but net, but not the two points. <laughs> <laughs> it was underneath, not inside. I'm sure Asiol's a bit tired at this point. He's been bleeding for his points, eight points here, but then they have been tough shots inside. The patos ni Asi, very colorful. Oh, ngayon ko lang napansin yan. Baby blue and yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the talking text colors, okay? Now Tora Torreon will bring it down. Again, a two-point guard lineup here for Red Bull Barajo. 3.40 to play. Timex, the official timer of the PBA game. Invites you to check out the nearest Timex outlet for the Timex mid-year sale. Up to 70% discount up for grabs on selected Timex watches. That was a tough shot by Willie Miller. He's shooting over three people off the backboard. Now, Willie Miller has put up his numbers in scoring uh, in this Invitational. It's a double team once again as Red Bull has gone back to a man-to-man -man defense. Victor Pablo from the outside. Oh, Victor Pablo is money in this quarter. He has got, scored 18 points, and 14 of them have come here in the third, four from three-point land. And that's big because he came into this game only averaging 10 points a game. Well, Vic Pablo, what a lift. Hitting three, uh, four three-pointers in this quarter alone. 
And don't look now, but it's a 61-46 lead here for the next round. Gawk and Dex has to win this uh, ball game by more than eight points. And right now, they're on top by 13 with 2.32 to play here in the third quarter. Well, if you're Red Bull, this is the time to try to get back in the basketball game. As soon as I say that, Atri Pilava gets off the bench and he's on his way back in. The talking text not taking any risks here. What a shot by Jimmy Alapag. High off the backboard. Jimmy Alapag has a knack for coming up with those difficult shots. Bonolo pass inside by Torreon. So the Bakers doesn't lead here for Talking Dex. And uh, Talking Dex calls for a 30 second timeout here. So a good timeout because it allows the Talking Dex team to, to get Afi back into the basketball game. Well, we'll turn you over now to Janelle, who's got a Star Margarine update for us. Galit si Red Bull coach Yeng Giao. Sinabon ang mga barako at tinagalog na niya yung kanyang instruction para daw mas maintindihan siya. Sinabi niya, mamamatay tayo. Huwag kayong magmadali. Ipasa niyo yung bola until you get a good shot. Tapos sumarap siya kay Mick Finisi. At sinabi niya, in English, I want more pressure on Asi Taolava. He wants Finisi to sag and help sa defense ni Homer Se on the rock. That has been my Star Margarine courtside update. This has been Janelle. So back to the panel. Thank you, Janelle. That update brought to you by Star Margarine. So Coach Yeng Giao using everything to try to motivate his players, talking to them in English, Tagalog, you name it. <laughs> <laughs> what works? Well, he has to talk a little bit of English because Nick <laughs> Tennessee is out there. <laughs> but definitely, there you go. I mean, that's what Red Bull has to do. They have to put more pressure on the basketball. Force the talking tech team to do something that they do not want to do. Uh, back to a man-to-man -man defense now for Red Bull. And that's what you want them to do. You want Asi taking a 16-17 footer. Look at Benizzi and Asi getting very physical inside. Miller. Dish it off to Torreon. Loose ball scramble and the big man falls down. As Tugade will pick up a foul there. 113 to play. Our team foul story. Red Bull has four. Talk and text with two team fouls. Well, both teams playing small right now with Bong Ravenna and Lodi Tagadi playing the small forward position. Trying to go back to matchups here. Delan sidestepping it inside. He gets the lucky bounce. So now other players starting to step up for Talking Tech as well. But that's now confidence in the Talking Tech team. They feel they can win this game by more than eight. Well, if you come to think of it, they're they're on top by seven points at this at this juncture because of a 15-point lead. As Miller will drain one from outside, Miller continues to be uh, the the main man offensively here for Red Bull now with 19 points. Delano looking inside, cannot find Taulava. Here comes Ravenna. Yes, good rotation that time, good steal by Jimwell. Torreon will take it all the way home and get the two points. That's my bonus pasadito, a chance to uh, complete a three-point play. And that's some of the intensity has been missing here for the Red Bull defense. Torreon, he anticipated that long pass, that cross-court pass. Check out Torreon. He was fouled there by Bong Ravenna. Taking it with the left hand. And you know, Coach Yengia was waiting to find that spark. Which unit would provide that spark and a mini run here for Red Bull Barajo. The lead is down to 10. A little bit of a pressure defense coming from the Red Bull team. Celan will break it down, go to the hole. That's a good call by the referee as Penisi was leaning in. That's going to be the fourth personal foul on Mick Penisi. And that'll put uh, Red Bull in the penalty. So Mark Delan now will shoot two and try to extend this lead to 12. 
Well, we saw the, the adjustments made. Right now, Red Bull playing man-to-man. -man. They've switched uh, their defense. Well, that's the best thing for them to do because talking text, they're red hot from the perimeter. You've got to guard up on your men as Asi Talava is going to get another short rest here between quarters. Red, Red Bull will have another chance to score here with 11 seconds left here yes. in the third. One last uh, crack at the basket here for Red Bull. Let's see what they come up with. Well, everybody ran away. <laughs> <laughs> here comes Miller expecting to take it to the hoop. And that's always the advantage of not being in the penalty at the end of the quarter. You can give away those fouls to use up some time on the clock. Now, in the case of Red Bull, they know Talking Texas is going to foul, so they should try to be aggressive and shoot immediately. Be aggressive and go to the basket. Miller gives it to Togade. He takes oh, one. Not like that, though. <laughs> he wasn't squared off for the shot. Villa will try to throw it. All right, 12 minutes uh, left to play here. Left to decide which team will advance. Talking Decks and Red Bull Parajo slugging it off here in our fourth and final period. San Miguel Beer, it's Asmo, best shot of the game. Tough move there by Lori Tagade going over Asi Talava. He might get a delay of game for throwing the ball up in the air. Talking Tex was able to pull away in the third quarter because they shot 60% from the three-point line, six out of ten. So Mainit Mainit Talaga shooting coming from Talking Tex. They also won the rebound 13 to 11. So Talking Tex starting uh, it over in the second half. They're on top by now down to nine points with 11:02 to play. This is going to be interesting. Again, Taulava muscling his way inside, asking for that ball, begging for it. That's our quarter scoring here. Uh, Rock and Dex with the advantage in all three quarters. Oh, what a hard fall there by Hobby Carey. If I were the hard court, if I were the flooring of Conet Astrodome, I would be hurting right now. Well, the lucky telegraphy <laughs> hobby carry is he's trying to act like nothing happened, but I'm sure suck it. <laughs> suck that was telegraphy. a loud thug. We heard it from way up here. That thing, uh, panel area. You got it? Torreon, the land of the giant, able to find some space. Yeah, Bong Ravenna is going to get the foul as he bumped Homer Stay. The second foul here on uh, Ravenna. You can, you can almost always tell the person that committed the foul because he looks so innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. What foul? Torreon. He has been going to that baseline a lot in this ball game. Tora Tora, Tora about three, brings it closer. And the shot clock will expire on uh, the Barajo team. Well, Hindi aware of the shot clock that time. A lot of passing, <laughs> good teamwork, but... Maybe a case of overpassing in that last play. Harvey Carey. It has been a slow night offensively here for Harvey Carey so far in the game. Only five points. Taulava? Yeah. Asi Taulava. The Giants has uh, woken up here in the fourth. It just goes to show that Mick Pennessy, when he gets back in the basketball game, he's going to have to really play hard because, let's face it, the other players for Red Bull, I mean, without Devon Harp, they're not a very big team. With Devon Harp, they're a huge team, but he's not around, so Mick Pennessy really has to play Aussie tough. Can't expect Homer Say and Rico, who are much smaller, to match up that well underneath. Yes, Taulav has been bullying Red Bull uh, defenders inside. And talking techs are up by 11 points, but actually they're only up by three at this point. Tugade, left open, Lordy Tugade. No go, and Alapagos hit in the face. He crashes to the floor. Timex, the official timer of the PBA Games, invites you to check out the nearest Timex outlet for the Timex mid-year sale up to 70% discount up for grabs 
on selected Timex watches. But let's check out first Jimmy Alapag. He looks hurt. We just don't know whether it's his eye or his nose. I have a feeling it's his eye because the ball was, was uh, it wasn't a hard blow to his face. It, it was almost as if the defender was just trying to snatch the ball out. Almost like a scratch. Yes. Well, babalikan natin yan yung play na yan mamaya. Right now, talk and text. We'll have to attend to Alapag. Well, they may have to call another timeout because Jimmy Alapag's not moving. That's oh. the play. Yeah, there's a swipe there by Torreon. And it could have been one of the nails of Torreon hitting the eye of Alapag. Possibly the right eye. That was a scrape for the ball. And Alapag is just... He's really hurt. Well, our scenario here is 68. Looks like Jimmy Alapag is down. Well, in this case, you hope that he did not have his retina scratched. That definitely will affect his eyesight. So Alapag will be replaced here. And uh, it's Patrick Fran on the floor to replace Jimmy Alapag. Kaulava. Challenged by the defense of Red Bull. Red Bull now Miller left open. Steps back. Fresh shot clock here for the Baraka team. Yeah. Oh, got it. Finally hitting one from outside. And the lead is cut to eight again. It's that magic number eight that just won't go away. Ravenna, they go to their money man. Taken away by June T. Here comes Red Bull. Miller, stop and pop. Oh, bad pass. Oh, hesitation move. Miller was ready to take the shot in at the last second, throwing it to a teammate. Well, he felt his shot was going to be blocked while he threw that pass. Well, it looks like Alapak's okay. We see him checking back on the scores table. We'll just have to wait and see if it really has affected his game. Ravenna. Hesitation move. Ball will stay with the phone pass. Okay, so here are the substitutions. Now Penisi will check in for Villanueva as Alapag checks right back in to replace Bong Ravenna. Well, talking text might want to move Victor Pablo away from the side of Asi Salaba like they did in the third quarter. Jimmy Alapag straight to the basket. What? Me hurt? No way. Jimmy Alapag bounces back and gives uh, talking text a 10-point lead here. Valenzuela. Referee halts play. Foul will go against Jimmy Alapag. Well, the way things are going right now, both coaches will be sweating right down to the final minute of this game. This has been a close one. And we say close only because of the uh, potion system. Yes. So got it. Breaking the barrier. And now it's a seven-point lead for Talk and Text. Now Lava, oh, it has, there has been a lot of pushing and shoving and nudging down low. Well, Limon fouls now on Mick Penasi. And I mentioned earlier, he's going to have to play tough and try to stay in the game. So Penisi will have to figure out. Well, you're back with us here as uh, earlier you missed Asi Tolava going to the hoop for two points. He was fouled by Homer's say, and now he will troop to the line for two. 
for Homer Zay saying he just had his hands up in the air on that last play, which our televiewers did not see, but that's why if you're going to be a shot blocker, you should never put your hands straight up in the air. Oh, so two misses coming from the line from Asi Talaba. This is going to be very crucial down the stretch. Villanueva, oh! oh. oh. Come by. The rookie using the left turnaround jump hook against Asi Taulaba. And all of a sudden, they blew by Red Bull team. The latest cut to five. Harvey Carey out to Alapag. Now Ravenna using the, the, the window. <laughs> we talked about this game being close because of that eight point spread right now it's a seven point lead for talking Tex. well eight is the magic number for red bull and nine is the magic number for the talking Tex team so they're down by two points right now if you look at it realistically huh? oh smacked away get that baby out of here ready to drink iced coffee Orion, now getting ready to take two from the strike we'll turn you over to uh, janelle who has a monterey courtside update earlier coach ariel van guardia called the time out to review his offensive plays and he's giving his utmost confidence in jimmy alapag he reviewed and he wants his boy to use and execute the play that they made for jimmy alapag naginamit nila at nagpanalo sa kanila nung all filipino cup finals okay na nga itong si jimmy alapag after that eye injury he sustained earlier actually hindi naman tinamaan yung kanyang right eyeball kung hindi yung kanyang right eyelid lang at nagkaroon ng konting abrasion that's why he was hurt earlier meanwhile hindi naman magpapatalo ang red bull baraco especially in this quarter in fact after nung huddle nila dun sa start ng uh, fourth quarter may sumigaw pa sabi fourth quarter na to bye hindi ko alam kung sino kasi maraming sebuano sa red bull baraco pwede si jim Montoyon, pwede rin si junti valenzuela that has been my monterey court head update back to the fans Thank you, Janelle. That update brought to you by Monterey. And now Red Bull has come alive. So Jimmy Alapag picked up his fifth foul in the last play. Jimuel Torian shooting over Asi Talaba. And Asi wants the basketball. 72-68. Red Bull ball. At buhay ang mga fans ng Red Bull Barajo. With his four-point lead. 6.15 to play. Red Bull now. On the comeback. Well, it's amazing that they were able to pick up their intensity just when they really needed it. Check out moment brought to you by Coca-Cola. Look at the guy, they died for the basketball. This is a matter of life and death here for these players. And Bong Rabin is going to pick up the foul. And check out the, the big man, Enrico Villanueva, diving for that loose ball. And you tell me who wants it. And this is what... The PBA is all about the road to the semifinals. Both teams just letting it all hang here tonight. 14 seconds now on the shot clock for Red Bull Barajo, and this is going to be a side court inbound. A three point field goal. Red Bull, six out of 20. Talking Tech, 10 out of 22. Talking Texas shot much better from the three-point line. And that's why they're winning this game. He's thrown up a lot of outside shots. 22 attempts from three-point land. Villanueva finding Miller outside. Yeah. Miller ringing the bell. And what a turnaround here in the fourth quarter. Look at this. Talking Texas now on top by only one point. With 5.36 to play. And Red Bull Barajo is alive and kicking. We have a timeout. live action now uh, Willie Miller earlier was fouled on his way to uh, the hole and it was off 
a Red Bull Barajo interception here with 5.19 to play. Yeah, Jim Well Torreon once again creating habit on the offense of Talking Tech, stealing the basketball, leading to that pass break for Willie Miller. He misses the first shot. And this is the spark that we were talking about earlier and that we did not both. see in Red Bull. Game. Foul will be called here on Villanueva, his fifth. So it's a foul trouble, five fouls already for Villanueva, five fouls for Penisi. And we have a few side shows going on as Enrico is hearing it from the Talking Tech fans. <laughs> coach Yangal also not too happy. Galit, Galit Talagasi, Coach Yangal on the other end talking to the referee. There you see Coach Sheng Yao trying to plead his case. So maybe we should at least clarify things um, as we watch this replay. Well, check out, this is the turn of Taulava. Well, you are allowed that arm bar, but you cannot push off. Right. Well, speaking of clarifying things earlier during our break, nilapitan tayo ng ating head statistician, of course, Fidel Mangonan, to help us out with the numbers. That as we go to the quotient system, the magic number here for Talk and Text is actually eight points. So, so if Talk and Text wins by eight or more, Talk and Text will advance to the semifinal. If Red Bull loses by seven points or less or wins the game, and Red Bull Barajo will okay. advance. So clear now. All right. Patrick Run! Yeah. Oh! Patrick Run! Draining one from outside. And now it's a five-point lead, 76 to 71. This is going to go down the wire, folks. Teller to Torreon around the back to Gade. Big shot. Oh, that is huge. Well, neither one of these teams want to lose this basketball game. Both teams just slugging it out here in the fourth. Almost an interception by Gade. Will get solo first spot in their group. We mentioned earlier the numbers were nine and eight. They're actually eight and seven. Okay. So talk and text right now on top by two points. Lodi Pagadi has 12 points in this quarter. Three out of four from three point range. It has been step up time here for these players. Harvey Carey. No, oh, what a shot. Harvey Carey with a Hail Mary. <laughs> he was falling, falling down. Yeah, falling to the floor. Miller. Trying to set things up for Red Bull. Here he comes with a jumper, Willie Miller. Tough shot. Patrick Fram was all over him. We are seeing some nice shots here from our players. It's not about execution anymore. This is about shot making. Uh huh? Hard to carry. Top of the key. Torreon will bring it down. Tora Tora. Quick pass inside to Gade with a finish. With 3.14 to play. Now it's a tied ball game. And things are looking good for Red Bull. Rocket Tex. Inside. Taulav is fouled on his way to the basket. So we have three minutes flat. And can talk and text do it once again? Well, Enrico has just fouled out of the game as Homer Say checks in for him. And this may be one of those sweet and sour games where you win the game but you lose the war. So Villanueva doing his job on the floor. He fouls out after pouring in Villanueva. Production of five points to go with ten rebounds. Well, he had a tough job tonight. That was to guard Asi Talava. And Asi has a tendency of fouling a lot of people out. He leads the league the entire year, actually, in free throws attempted. Alapag, quick three. Yeah. Oh, this guy will, will just not go away. Mighty Mouse to hit the three-pointer. And with 2.53 to play, it's a four-point lead for Talk and Tex. Watch Jimmy Alapag nailing one. Oh, huge mistake there, not getting the rebound off the foul shot. Well, we have 
have a full timeout call here. This is uh, for the last place in the semifinals. Red Bull Barajo and Talk and Text trying to stay alive here in the PBA, Samsung PBA Invitational. And Talk and Text right now, they're down by four. They have to win the game by eight points. Presently, they're up by four points. And we want to keep clarifying that because we want everybody to know that to win the game is not good enough for Talking Tech. They have to win by a certain number. This is the battle between the all-Filipino champs and the team. I'm talking about Red Bull, the team that ended with the best all-Filipino elimination uh, standing. 14 and 4. Yes. Right now, both the teams are on the line here. That's going to mean two foul shots as both teams are in the penalty. That's not a very good foul. Well, we'll be seeing a lot of free throws here in the last 2.35 to play. And let's see what gives. The foul was called on Torreon. Yes, it will go against Jimwell Torreon, his third foul, and Patrick Franau with a chance to up this lead. Patrick Fran, he hit a lot of big shots early this year to keep Talking Tex alive in the All-Filipino Championship. Misses his first free throw though. So far Fran, 13 points, 5 boards. And that may be most important point that he has scored in this game. Here's Tora Tora setting the play. He's asking for the Benici pick. Torreon zigzagging inside. Miller to Benici. Yeah. Oh, big Benici for three. Well, what a time to come up with a three-pointer. I mean, he's been quiet almost the entire game. That's just a huge blow. For talking next, Benici landing it. Taulava trying everything to get his team back in this ball game. Nick Pennessy has fouled out of the game, so Enrico's gone, Nick is gone. Nelson Asaitono is going to check in for the Red Bull team. Red Bull Baraco is running out of big men. Well, a, a, a weird scenario here would be if it's not anywhere near eight points, Talking Tex intentionally puts this game into overtime and then goes for an eight-point lead there. But you're saying Red Bull doesn't have control over that. I'm sure Red Bull does not want overtime right now. Exactly. They just don't want to lose by more than seven points. Well, let's see how this... Comes it's into play here. It's a little bit sad that we're talking about all these scenarios, but it's just the way it is. Because of our, our short conference, we have to rely on the quotient system to break ties. Well, it makes things very interesting because we never have to deal with this very often. Uh-huh. Torreon. That's going to send Torreon to the line for two shots as Alapag is now fouled out of the game. And the last two minutes is brought to you by Hope, the luxury cigarette. We're in the twilight zone and... Alapag, you're right, will foul out here with six fouls. A lot of diplomas being handed out. Torreon. I don't know who fouled who there. <laughs> Torreon initiating the contact. He was able to fish the foul here from Alapag. Well, Alapag had a great game. Imagine he had 10, 11 rebounds in this game. 11 rebounds for a 5 foot 8 point guard. That's why we call him Mighty Mouse. Not afraid to rough it up with the big men. I'm talking, it's on free, free throw for Jim Well Torreon. Tora Tora. Now this is a two point lead for Talking Dex. Even number, Taulava. Crashing the boards. Still some time on the clock left here for Talking Tex to make a run. Pablo. You can expect at some point Coach Yankov is going to call a timeout to map out his strategy for this end game. Good steal by Nelson Asaitono. That's a clean swipe by the Bull. 
Torreon will walk it down. And there is that possibility of going into overtime. I don't know whether they really want to go into overtime as Nelson Asaitona throws up an air ball. Asaitona will throw up that air ball. He looks towards the Red Bull bench. With 1.23 to play, it's a two-point two lead for the phone pals here. And there's no question, there's a lot of tension in the air. Let's see what Talking Text does here. Alapag is out of the ball game with six fouls. Foul given up by Nelson Asaitono. And this will send the Rock to the line for two. Dahil nasa penalty na ang Talking Text at saka ang uh, Red Bull. Well, importante talaga ang dalawang free throws for Asi Talaba. He has to hit these free throws. Otherwise, the other scenario may be what takes place here, try to get it to go into overtime. Now Lava, yes. uh, those tired legs, getting the bounce on that first release. One thirteen to play, Assi. Second foul shot. Look at Harvey Carey trying to muscle inside. So Lava will be called for the foul. So it's going to boil down to the free throws here. Well, the scenario you talked about is not exactly a bad idea. If you can't win by eight. If you're nowhere close eight. You might as well foul them, let them go to the foul line, send it into overtime. At least you have five more minutes to get it up to eight points. Exactly, five minutes. I don't know if uh, the teams or the coaches are even aware of that, but it is a possibility. Well, they're not used to it, that's for sure. <laughs> Everybody's out to win. So got it. Well, how many teams want to send it into overtime, particularly the winning team? Well, maybe Tagadi does know. He missed the first foul he shot. He missed his first shot. And this is the, the wild game of basketball. You never know what to expect. Well, the difficult thing is that Tagadi really has to make at least one of these shots because Talking Tech can hit a three and be right back close to that number eight again. The only be up by six. Got it sinks his second free throw, two point lead to, uh, for, for Talking Tech. Red Bull interception. And here they go, Torreon. He's fouled. And now Torreon with a chance <laughs> to tie this ball game. Very interesting. <laughs> well, we promised you a cliffhanger here tonight. And we're giving you nothing less. But 101 to play. Red Bull Barack. 101 remaining here in this ball game. And Torreon on the line for two. So many scenarios, so many uh, endings, possible endings in this ball game. Torreon missing his first free throw, but he aimed for it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh boy. <laughs> well, the coaches think just like we do. You don't want to go into overtime. Uh, Enrico has already fouled out. Nick Kennedy has fouled out. Okay, so Torreon makes the second free throw. It's a one-point lead now for Talking Tex. Milano. He will lose the ball at the baseline area, but the ball will stay here with the phone pals. The reigning all-Filipina champions with their season on the line. Oh, definitely talking text will go for a three-pointer if they can. Ravenna out to Bilano. Here's the three-point shot. No go, Taulava. They let Taulava score the two points with 42 seconds to play. And again, another quick foul given up by Patrick Franz. Well, definitely the Talking Text team, they're trying to win by eight points. They're not trying to win this game into overtime, <laughs> as Patrick Fran is also going to graduate here. So Fran and Alapag are out for Talking Text. For Red Bull, Benisi and Villanueva are out. Four players already fouled out in this ballgame. Torotora again on the line 
for two. This time, he makes his first. Coach Yang Giao, you can just imagine what's going on in his head here. The last 39 seconds, two-point lead for the fold bounce. Pablo, Pablo. hit nothing there. Here's the foul again. And okay, we'll see what the strategy is here for Coach Yang Gao. Let's see what Red Bull does on this situation. We have a scenario here where Tagadi can make these two foul shots and pretty much talk and test can just run out the clock. Exactly. And we'll go into overtime. And remember, Red Bull, the, the, they don't have too many big men left. Villanueva and Penicia fouled out. I don't think they really want to go into overtime. Eighty-seven to eighty-five. The goddess sinks his first. The goddess sinks his first. So the possibility is open. The possibility of an overtime game. Big second half here for Lord Tugadi. He was one of the Red Bull players that really stepped up. And a five-second violation called interesting. on Lord Tugadi. <laughs> oh, that's really interesting. But he was taking a free throw. Now, we have a tough call here. I mean, for best player, Paolo, are we going to pick it from the winning team or the losing team? Well, we'll have to decide. Well, you have to figure that even if Red Bull loses, they actually won. Exactly, yeah, because they do advance. If they should go on to lose this game by less than eight points or win it. Well, I think the strategy here for Red Bull is they want to keep it at an odd number and uh, not get that possibility of an overtime. Milano. This is his first. Well, they can do that. He can make the second and didn't foul. They can foul again. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. We never see this too often, <laughs> do we? All right. So, ano bang uh, outcome natin in this uh, ball game? Well, I think the scenario is pretty clear. Talking Texas is going to foul and send Red Bull to the foul line. Now, whether Red Bull is going to make both foul shots is another story. But I mentioned earlier about our dilemma here of picking the best player. Do we pick it from the winning team if Talking Tex wins, or do we pick it from the losing team? Well, we should pick it depending on, on who wins, if Red Bull should, or, or which team goes on to advance. Well, that's my feeling also. Whoever enters the semis is really the winner. Yes. And uh, Coach Norman Black and I have really rocked our heads here tonight trying to explain this uh, quotient scenario outcome to all of you out there but and then for it to come down here at the end where <laughs> red bull does not want this game to go into overtime <laughs> talking tech does because they know they can't make up what six points in 24 seconds at least in most cases you can't well you know what especially if you don't actually, have the basketball actually if you come to think of it what talking tech can do is just inbound from their side and score the two points on the other side that dealt credit to two points to Red Bull. Well, there was no foul last time. There was just a timeout call, so. Here's Miller now. So they're not going to foul. Looks like they're going to make. Yes. Well, they are going to foul. Okay, there foul. you go. So let's see what gives here. <laughs> Very interesting. Miller now on the line. He has to make one and make it an odd number because if he leaves it a two-point spread, uh, Talking Talk Tex, Tex will just, not shoot. Talking Tex will inbound and shoot on the side of Red Bull. They can do that. I hope not, Paulo. <laughs> I hope they don't do that. <laughs> I think what they'll do is, if Miller makes both, definitely expect Talking Tex just to run the timeout. But you're right, they can shoot they, at the wrong basket, which that. let's hope do that, that does not happen. But uh, It is a possibility if they, if they really want to enter 
That would be making a mockery out of the, the game, but it could happen. Well, it's a one-point lead now, so that's out of the question here. Correct, yes. 15.6 to go. Miller misses the second free throw. Lose ball scramble. Here comes. So how do you score a one-point shot? See? They go for three. Oh, this is unbelievable. They're shooting this on the red ball side. Oh, no. And the referees. I don't think the referee can stop that. Referees trying to stop the game. Well, maybe he can because he just did. And what you predicted happened. That's exactly. Dawkins Dex is trying to stay alive. Shooting in Red Bull's goal. And what I was afraid of, which is uh, making a mockery out of the game, occurred. But I don't see how the referee can stop the game. Not just that, but he called a technical foul on the Talking Text team. So what Talking Text can do is they can make the foul. I mean, Red Bull. So Red Bull has to miss another foul shot. Otherwise, we have a tied game again. Yes. This is unbelievable. This is the first time that I have ever seen an ending such as this. And I'm looking at uh, Commissioner Noli Ayala. He's not really too happy with the uh, what's happening on the court. Well, let's see now. You know, in getting that technical foul, that, this is a strange ending, folks. Watch yes. this. Yes, talking text talking faking. Talking text team shooting at the Red Bull basket. And look, as I thought it was going to defend. And not just one time, but twice. This had gone in. Ooh. So now, what? What a strange ending to this ball game. Well, a timeout was called. Just a 30-second timeout called here by uh, Red Bull Barajo. Well, there's actually five seconds left in the game. Red Bull is going to have to shoot a technical foul shot. They've been... We'll turn you over down. Janelle, what do you have for us? Well, guys, there's something also interesting happening here at Courtside. The Talk and Text coaching staff is blaming our bar, Karoli Malapas. Dahil in announced pa daw niya kanina dito sa court that uh, Talk and Text has to win by 8 points or else hindi pa rin sila mananalo dito sa game na to. At ang kinu-question nila ng coaching staff ng Talk and Text ay kung pwede raw ba anong authority ng ating barker na i-announce yon dito sa court at uh, dito sa venue dahil hindi naman daw siya TV Adelaide. So titingnan natin kung paano mag and it's an interesting ball game na ito. Back to you guys. Thank you, uh, Janelle. A lot of controversy, huh? Yeah. There'll, be, there'll be even more controversy after this is over. Oh, yes. This is the last ball game here to decide which team will advance to the semifinals. I mean, when have you ever seen a team shoot at the other basket on purpose? It, it was a possibility earlier. I, I thought about it. And that's exactly what uh, Talking Tex tried to do. Check this out. Well, Willie Miller missed that foul shot. Here you go. Intentionally. See, Dawkins Dex pretended to bring it down. Then they go the other way. It's Jojo Manalo, he's going to miss the shot. They're going to get the rebound. Von Ravenna is going to pass it out to Don Belbolano. Now they're shooting at the Red Bull basket. Oh, my. <laughs> this, is, this is one for the books. Yep, you said it. One for the books. Now, Torian, I don't know why he's celebrating. He's still going to have to miss another foul shot. So let's see. Well, Talk and Text will call their last timeout here, a full timeout. So uh, we will be back with this wild and woolly game. Five seconds to play here at the Connect Astro. All right, you're back with us uh, here. Five seconds to play, 88 to 87, a one-point lead for Talk and Dex. Both teams are in the penalty. Both teams are out of timeouts. And five more seconds to decide the outcome of this uh, ball game. Remember, we had... I thought the referee called the technical foul. All right, let's see what Maybe. happens here. Well, let's see. Maybe a timeout was called. I'm not sure. Why is the ball with... Red Bull. Well, we are bewildered here, but the ball will stay with Red Bull. Say, throw up. Nothing. That one just going out of bounds with 2.5 seconds remaining. And Talk and Text calls timeout. They're only on top by one. 
So what they have to do now is throw the ball to a Red Bull player. Well, Talk and Text calls the timeout, and they do not have timeout. So they wanted to get the technical foul. Because with 2.5 seconds and uh, no timeouts left, definitely there will be a technical foul here called on uh, Talk and Text. So once again, Red Bull will be forced to go to the foul line. What a strange ending. And, uh, well, to cut the long story, to cut a long story short, if Red Bull should lose by seven points or less, or go on to win this game, they enter automatically. If Talking Text can win by eight points or more, and Talking Text will go on to the semi. Now, the Talking Text team, they were complaining, as Janelle said, about the Barker yes. announcing. Yes, that eight points is too much for them to catch up with the seconds remaining. And so they tried to put this game into overtime. Or we're trying to make it go into overtime. So a technical foul was called on Talking Text for calling too many timeouts. Yes, because we announced earlier that both teams were out of timeouts. Talking Text still <laughs> called one. And now we have a technical free throw. So they're going to put their worst foul shooter on the line, Homer Say. And he better hope he doesn't make this shot. Oh, he has to hit the rim. It's going to be their ball again. It's going to be Talking Tech's basketball. Now, if they want to call another timeout, they can force Red Bull to uh, <laughs> shoot another technical. But hopefully they won't do that. So obviously, Homer said intentionally missing uh, the free throw. And Talking Tech will just let this ball game end. Final score, 